So LeBron James got this message for the haters. Real quick, if you're not subscribed to the channel, what you waiting on, man? Subscribe to the channel. 98% of you guys who watch my videos aren't subscribed. Just subscribe. So here's the tweet that LeBron James put out. And I'm not going to lie. I love it. I love this energy from LeBron. Now, I've always wondered why he hasn't done or said or made statements like this more often in the past. Because this is not typical of what you would expect from LeBron. This is more something you would expect from like Damian Lillard, who's always on Twitter, or like Kevin Durant, especially. Not really LeBron, because LeBron doesn't really speak on stuff like this. But I, I love it. I love it. This, if, if I was in the NBA, I would be just like this. I would be calling out all the critics, all the haters. And what he's saying is facts. Because you got people like Skip Bayless, who will say stuff like this on the screen about the Nets are still a favorite. Lakers will never win with Russell Westbrook. They can never win with Russell Westbrook. LeBron, you made the biggest mistake of your career deciding to play with Russell Westbrook. You'll never be able to win. And all the moves you make in the offseason are canceled because you have Russell Westbrook. These are actual things that Skibillis has said so far, by the way. I'm not making this up. And then, if the Lakers go on to be dominant and then end up winning the championship, beating maybe the Nets in the finals or whoever, then the narrative is going to change. Then it's going to be, oh, well, look at, look how much help LeBron needs. Oh, well, look, look, look at, they had the odds stacked uh, in their favor. Of course, if you have Westbrook and AD, you're going to win, obviously. And it's just like, keep that same energy. Whatever side you're on, go to that side and stick to it. Because the weakest thing you could be is someone who flip-flops based on what happens and not stand firm to what you're saying. For example, I believe that the Lakers are a super team. I also believe that the Nets are a super team. I believe that either team is capable of winning the championship. So you will not hear comments from me talking about, oh, this Lakers team is too stacked. Oh, LeBron's on a uh, overpowered team. Oh, LeBron can't win without an overpowered team. Because the, the Nets stacked the odds in their favor. And if anything, this just balanced them out. Now, another thing, people are always switching up because first the narrative was you can't win with Russell Westbrook, the spacing and people acting like free agency wasn't opening up and they weren't going to complete signings. So people go from that, you know, Russell Westbrook, you can't win with Russell Westbrook, LeBron, you won't be able to do it to then. Now they sign a bunch of veterans on minimums, veterans who are now according to the media old and washed a lot of them now it's oh lebron stack team so signing those veterans on all those minimums besides kendrick Nunn and malik monk that's what made it overpowered or someone like me i thought it was overpowered i thought they were stacked once they got westbrook and this just added on to it i don't understand how signing the veterans for a minimum who anyone could have signed for a year is what makes them stacked and then people will change the narrative again because one second it's, oh, they're old. They're too old. Oh, no spacing. Oh, how are they going to space the floor? Then if they go dominate, it'll be, well, they're stacked. So just keep that same energy, regardless of what side you're on, regardless of what you believe, just keep that same energy. And I guess when the season starts and it's all said and done, We'll know who was right and we'll know who is wrong. But that's all LeBron is asking for you guys from this tweet. I see people talking about, oh, he's talking out of his, you know what, everybody's calling this team a super team. But that is not true at all. From what I've seen ever since they signed Russell Westbrook, I keep just seeing comments about how old they are and how it won't work because of spacing and the ball dominance from certain players. That's all I've been seeing so far. I've seen a couple people say it's a super team and I agree with that. But... Don't act like there's not their doubters and the naysayers out there who are very, very pessimistic about the move of Russell Westbrook and just all the players in their ages and the stages they're at in their career in general. One second, it's at the end of the season, LeBron's not a top five player anymore. AD is not top 10. He's an injury prone. A Disney, um, LaFlop James, oh, you know, Russell Westbrook, Russell Westbrook. He's not a team player. He's a stat patter. It's all this about all these players. And then the next second, it's, oh, they're a super team. Oh, super team, super team. Be consistent. Be consistent. If it's a super team, that's cool. If they're old and they're washed, that's cool. But be a man and stick 
to your ground.